Hello, my name is Richard Merritt. I'm the owner of New Hampshire Hostas, and I'm here today to explain to you how to control slugs in your garden. Um, the only solution that I found it, that's really effective uh, is Sluggo. There are poisonous products out there with methaldehyde in them that are equally effective, a little bit cheaper, but they're also very dangerous to pets, children, and wildlife. So to me, it's a no-brainer. You spend a few extra pennies um, and use the Sluggo. Now, what I want to tell you today is how to apply it, when to apply it, so that you get the most benefit out of it. Um, one of the important things is to be preemptive. Don't wait until you see the damage. Just accept the fact that they're there in your garden. Uh, uh, when the nights in the spring start to stay above 50 degrees, that's when you should be applying your slug out. That's when you should start. Um, it'll tell you on the container how to just broadcast a pattern of shaking it out. Uh, but what we do, because we've got so many gardens, and you can do this at home if, you're, if you have extensive gardens, is we just use a hand spreader and walk like that, and a very light, even pattern um, seems to be the most effective way to control them. Uh, as far as moisture in the garden, when you're doing it, you don't want it to be bone dry. It'll tell you in the container to actually uh, apply water to activate it. But on the other hand, you don't want standing water from puddles or heavy rains. If you're expecting heavy rains, delay it until afterwards. The reason is that the heavy rain will dilute it to such a uh, degree that it won't become effective and it won't be there. Probably lasts about two weeks in the garden. Uh, but if you did it properly, you will have killed nearly 100% of the slugs. So we do it about once every month here, and that seems to be effective. We have noticed that different areas of our property have different amounts of slug infestation. The reason for this is that it's partly moisture. The more moist the garden, the more moist the weather pattern you're in, the more slugs you're going to have. The other one is location. Uh, for the gardens that we have along the woodland border where the slugs just keep coming out of the woods, those have to be done more often. A garden like this that backs up against the retail building, it's surrounded by the parking lot stone. There aren't too many slugs in here and they can't get in here. They can't travel over the stone and they're not being constantly reintroduced as they are on the woodland garden. So just think it through and you'll, you'll get to know your own garden and, and know where you need to concentrate your effort a little bit more. Um, there are a lot of home remedies like uh, crushed eggshells, diatomaceous earth, um, things of that nature. Uh, beer in saucers actually works, but they're very time consuming and they're also not as effective uh, at controlling everything. Um, when you broadcast uh, properly, you're covering all the area that the slugs are in. If you try to do that with saucers of beer, uh, it, it's very difficult. Although I will tell you that a saucer of beer is a good way to monitor. Um, if you put down the saucer and you get a lot of slugs, you know you've got a bad infestation, but you probably would have known this anyway by the leaf pattern. Um, if you're seeing leaves like this April snow that has this chewed up pattern, then you know you have a bad infestation. I, I took this from another garden that's along the woodland um, in order to show you. This garden has almost no damage. Um, you can see lakeside ripples here, almost three feet tall. Uh, Fantabulous, about two feet tall. And His Honor, um, also almost three feet tall, with no slug damage in them at all. We have treated them. Um, and we, d we did it early in the, in the year so that they would be protected. So that's about all I want to tell you. It's, it's not rocket science. It's really easy. Sluggo is the product. You'll find it on our website. Um, and I hope you use it and you have good results. So happy gardening.